Your primitive device measures the pressure over crank angle. This will already provide you with a lot of information like the compression pressure at top dead center, the point of ignition and the point of maximum combustion pressure. Only the Primit Viewer software shows the combustion pressure curve which is the additional pressure generated due to combustion. At the peak no additional pressure is generated due to the combustion. This defines end of combustion only shown by Primit. With the point of ignition this will show us the duration of combustion. But important information about the injection and combustion are missing. If you have a Primit X it can also measure this in acoustic emission sensor simultaneously. The acoustic emission sensor can help to get missing information not measured with the pressure sensor. It listens into your engine and discovers further important information like the angle at which the pump spill closes, the nozzle opens and starts to inject the fuel into the combustion chamber and together with the point of ignition from the pressure sensor this will give you instantly the delay for the ignition as well as for the injection. Beside many other information you also get the angle at which the nozzle closes and injection ends. This gives you the duration of injection. Depending on the position the sensor is placed on it can provide information about the fuel pump activity or the injection process and valve activity. On two stroke engines you can place a sensor on the individual injection nozzles to check the quality of the fuel atomization. To use the additional acoustic emission sensor connect the green plug of the acoustic emission sensor with the green socket of the Primit X device. The grey plug from the pressure sensor is connected with the grey socket of the Primit X device. You can use either sensors individually or both sensors together. Select the measurement screen and refer to the video how to use the Primit X to select the acoustic emission sensor and to start a measurement. If you have any questions or problems please do not hesitate to send us an email to support at or call us on the number shown.